Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Quantum Information. Today, we're going to use Deep Learn to work out the coefficients of a quadratic equation. So a quadratic equation is of the form y equals a x squared plus b x plus c. So for every x, there is a, a y result. So if we do not know what a, b, and c is, but we're given x and the output for y, we can use deep learn machine learning to train and work out uh, to a close approximation what these a, b, and c is. So the way that this is going to run is that we create these variables a, b, and c in the deep learn, and then we create a, a loss function and we then train using something called stochastic gradient, gradient descent. Um, you can go that what that means. And uh, you can then we can then test to see how close these answers are. So this is I've got the code base here and my deep learn JS playground, I will uh, link to it in the codes below. Um, so this is this is what the code does. So to, in order to learn what these A, B, and C values are. We have to import the Deep Learn library from uh, NPM, and we create what's called this. We create these variables in Deep Learn, and uh, we assign them to these these uh, variables here, constants. And what we're doing is that we are we pass in a random number between zero and one, and we create a Deep Learn scalar. This is a, a one-dimensional tensor kind of similar nomenclature as they have in TensorFlow. And these uh, scalars will be, uh, the calculations will be done on the GPU. That's why we, we pass them into the, the Deep Learn, because that, that does, it deals with all the sort of heavy lifting of transferring from the, the memory to the GPU. And then this, the, this variable thing will mean that these will be tracked through the training process and updated so that we can then use them in the, the predictor function. So once we start this, we have this, uh, we just have this arbitrary learning rate that we can adjust to see how this problem goes. And we create this thing called an optimizer, and it's a stochastic gradient descent optimizer. And this is, um, this is how we do it in Deep Learn. Now the API, this is the Deep Learn API 0 0.5. When we get to, uh, you know, a 1.0 release, 1.0 release, the, the, uh, the APIs will be a bit more simple and more close to the actual native TensorFlow, Python, whatever that is, other stuff. So anyway, we then have this predictor function, which is when the model is trained, uh, we'll have a good approximation for the actual value and it will use these trained A, B and uh, C values to return the, the predicted value. I, I borrowed this from the DeepLearn website, by the way, so I'm not, I didn't just make all this stuff up. Um, but I do have, I am taking the examples and um, I have my own custom web pack build that allows us to to run these in a sort of TypeScript friend way. This ex our original example wasn't in TypeScript, but I, I converted it over to TypeScript because I like it I like it better. So anyway, we, after we have this predict function, we this is a loss function, and we sort of um, arbitrarily uh, assign this function. The so loss function tells us how close or how much error there is for uh, a given prediction and um, we actually square the so we get the actual value and we put our predict our prediction in there and then we square the value to get rid of any negatives um mathematic you're supposed to take the square root of it but um i heard that from some machine learning guys it doesn't really matter square is good enough for, uh, for this error here and then this is where the the training happens so we we in order to train we get um a bunch of x values and, and y values and then we we iterate over a certain amount of, of times and we then try and minimize the the, the errors use in, inside of the optimizer here so we can see here we iterate through this um, number of iterations uh, we look through the, the actual real values and then we use um, the optimizer to minimize the losses basis based on our um, our prediction and this loss function here. And we wrap this thing in this dl.nextframe thing to apparently not block the browser. So 
this kind of there's a lot of hides a lot of the complexity in work memory problems and browser locking problems for you this 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 library so allows this single threaded uh, javascript browser thing to to work better um i'm not sure if it uses uh, web workers in the background or not but uh, i trust the google guys didn't know what they're doing so and here's uh here's the actual what we do to test, we run this test function and output the results in the browser, which I'll show you in a minute. This is the original data that's passed to the, the train function. So these are the actual X values and the expected Y values. And we use the SGD optimizer to get the closest ABC coefficients to, to get the correct answer here. So, so and anyway, so the first test we just, um, we do it before before training using the the random coefficients. So with the test, we'll actually take in uh, the prediction, predict based on the what the values for A, B, C, D are started off with randomly. Obviously, it's going to be the nonsense nonsense result. Then we actually train the uh, using this data, and we have 50, 50 uh, iterations, and then we want to see what the final result is. So let's just run this in the browser and see what we get. Okay, so before training, we get the, we expect to have these values for the, the coefficients. And um, in this case, we get, we're off, completely off, completely, completely off here. And um, for the, the second one, of course, we still expect to have these original values. And after the training, we have the closer, much closer results, 1.1, 1.02, 5.8. 1633. So that is really the most basic um, optimization problem I can think of on uh, Deep Learn. So have a look at this guys and uh, let me know if you have any questions about it. I wish you good and prosperous journey with Deep Learn. I will be continuing to look at it because I just find this stuff so exciting. And uh, thanks for watching. See you later.